Have you ever felt like you're chasing your dreams with everything you've got, yet they seem to slip further away? We're conditioned to believe that sheer force of will is the answer, but what if there's a completely different approach? What if the secret to manifesting your desires isn't about gripping tighter, but about opening your hands and letting go? This is the power of detachment, a concept that could revolutionize how you approach your goals and invite abundance into your life. Now don't get me wrong. Detachment isn't about not caring or abandoning your dreams. It's about understanding a deeper truth that you and the things you desire are energetically on the same level. Think of it like this. When you desperately crave something, you're sending out a signal of lack and incompleteness. Detachment allows you to embody the feeling of already being whole, already having what you desire. We live in a world designed to make us feel like we're constantly lacking. Marketing bombards us with must-haves, social media fuels comparison. All of it keeps us trapped in a cycle of wanting more, never feeling satisfied. This constant chase blocks the very thing we're after. So how does detachment work? It comes down to two key principles that reshape how you understand your relationship with your desires. Principle one, you are equal to your desires. Forget the idea of your goals being on some unattainable pedestal. You aren't chasing something outside of yourself. You're aligning with a potential that already exists within you. The things you desire, whether it's a fulfilling relationship, financial success, or a certain experience, hold a specific energetic frequency. Your job is to become a vibrational match for that frequency. Principle two, you get what you are. This goes beyond simply wanting something. Your reality is a reflection of your internal world, your beliefs, your self-concept, and the overall energy you put out. If deep down you feel unworthy or doubt your own abilities, you'll create roadblocks even subconsciously. Detachment invites you to do the inner work. Examine those limiting beliefs, cultivate a sense of deserving, and embody the feeling of someone who naturally attracts what they desire. When you understand you are equal to your desires and focus on becoming what you want to manifest, a powerful shift occurs. You stop feeling like you're constantly one step behind and instead step confidently into a reality where abundance flows effortlessly towards you. Shifting from a mindset of longing to one of alignment isn't always easy. We're so conditioned to focus on what we lack that it can feel unnatural at first. But remember, detachment is a skill, and here's how you can cultivate it. Reframing your desires. Instead of seeing your desires as distant objects, view them as signposts. They are proof that you have the capacity to experience those things. This subtle shift removes the feeling of desperation and opens you up to possibility. Focus on the feeling, release the how. Your primary job is to tap into the feeling of what you want as if it's already here. Embody the joy, the satisfaction, the sense of accomplishment. The universe is far more creative than we are. It will find ways to deliver that feeling in ways you might not even expect. Let go of the need to control the exact how of your manifestation. The power of gratitude. True gratitude isn't just about saying thank you. It's a deep, embodied appreciation for all the good that already exists in your life. This appreciation shifts your vibrational state, making you a magnet for even more abundance. Start a gratitude journal or simply make a point to notice and savor the positive throughout your day. The importance of consistency. Detachment isn't a one-time event, it's an ongoing practice. Make time for daily visualizations, affirmations done from a place of alignment, and regular gratitude practice. As you consistently embody this detached mindset, you'll find the universe responding in remarkable ways. Detachment might seem like a purely spiritual concept, but it has profound implications for your business and career.
When you approach decisions from a place of desperation or scarcity, you cloud your judgment. Detachment brings a sense of clarity, allowing you to see opportunities and make choices aligned with your true goals. It also eliminates the kind of pushy energy that can repel potential clients or partners. Instead, you attract the right people and resources effortlessly. Detachment isn't a magic pill for instant success. It's a shift in consciousness that fosters alignment with abundance in all areas of your life. If you're ready to dive deeper, stay tuned. We'll explore techniques to cultivate detachment and rewrite those subconscious programs that hold you back. Techniques. Detachment isn't a switch you flip. It's an ongoing journey of self-discovery and realignment. So let's explore some techniques that empower you to shift your mindset, release limiting beliefs, and open the floodgates of abundance. Technique number one, mindfulness and awareness. The first step towards detachment is cultivating mindfulness and awareness. This means becoming intimately familiar with your inner landscape, paying attention to the ebb and flow of your thoughts and emotions. In particular, notice those moments when you feel a sense of lack, worry, or desperation around your desires. These are the moments where attachment is rearing its head. Don't judge these feelings as good or bad, simply observe them with curiosity. What triggers these feelings? What specific thoughts or situations tend to accompany them? When you bring awareness to these patterns, you start to loosen their grip on you. It's like shining a light into a dark room. Suddenly, the shadows lose their power. Remember, the goal isn't to eliminate these feelings completely, but rather to create space around them. Allow yourself to feel them fully, without getting swept away in their intensity. Through this practice of mindful awareness, you'll start to gain a deeper understanding of your inner workings, which is the foundation for releasing attachment and embracing detachment. Technique number two, reframing your inner dialogue. Our subconscious mind is a powerful force, often running on autopilot with deeply ingrained beliefs and patterns. Unfortunately, these ingrained programs aren't always positive or supportive. They can be filled with limiting beliefs that sabotage our efforts and hold us back from achieving our desires. To break free from these self-imposed limitations, we must actively challenge and reframe our inner dialogue. Think of your inner dialogue as a conversation you're having with yourself. What kind of words are you using? Are they empowering or discouraging? The first step is to identify the limiting beliefs that are holding you back. What are the recurring negative thoughts that pop up in your mind? Do you tell yourself you're not smart enough, not worthy enough, not capable enough? Once you've identified these beliefs, it's time to start reframing them. Instead of, I'll never be able to afford that, try saying, I am open to receiving financial abundance in unexpected ways. Instead of, I'm not good enough for love, affirm, I am worthy of love and deserve a fulfilling relationship. By consciously replacing negative self-talk with positive affirmations, you begin to reprogram your subconscious mind. It's like planting seeds of abundance and positivity in the fertile ground of your mind. Remember, this is a process that takes time and consistent effort. Be patient with yourself and keep practicing. Over time, you'll start to notice a shift in your thoughts, feelings, and ultimately, your reality. Technique number three, visualization and affirmations. Visualization and affirmations are powerful tools for manifesting your desires. However, their effectiveness lies not in the words or images themselves, but in the energy you infuse them with. When you visualize or affirm from a place of lack or desperation, you inadvertently reinforce the very feeling you're trying to escape. The energy of not having becomes amplified creating a greater distance between you and your desired outcome. Instead, approach visualization and affirmations from a place of abundance and joy. 
Visualize yourself already living your dream life, experiencing the emotions associated with having achieved your goals. Feel the excitement, the gratitude, the fulfillment. This shift in energy creates a vibrational match between you and your desires. As you affirm your worthiness and express gratitude for what you already have, you open yourself up to receiving even more. The universe responds to your energy, so radiate the energy of abundance and watch as your dreams manifest into reality. Technique number four, meditation and breathwork. Meditation and breathwork offer a powerful antidote to this mental overload. By quieting the mind and focusing on the present moment, we create space for self-reflection and inner peace. As the external noise subsides, our intuition begins to speak more clearly. We become more attuned to our inner guidance, allowing us to make decisions that are aligned with our true desires and purpose. Whether it's a simple mindfulness practice or a guided meditation specifically for manifestation, incorporating these tools into your daily routine can profoundly shift your energetic state towards detachment and abundance. Technique number five, surround yourself with positivity. The company we keep, the information we consume, and the stories we tell ourselves have a profound impact on our vibrational state. Just as spending time in a noisy environment can raise our stress levels, surrounding ourselves with negativity can dampen our spirits and hinder our ability to manifest our desires. To cultivate a mindset of detachment and abundance, it's essential to create a positive and supportive environment for ourselves. Surround yourself with people who uplift and inspire you, whose energy resonates with your own. Seek out books, podcasts, and media that celebrate success and abundance. Fill your mind with stories of those who have achieved their dreams and overcome obstacles. Create a vision board that visually represents your goals and aspirations, keeping them at the forefront of your mind and reminding you of the endless possibilities that await you. Technique number six, taking inspired action. Detachment does not equate to passivity. While it involves releasing the need to force or control outcomes, it doesn't mean sitting back and doing nothing. Inspired action is a crucial part of the manifestation process. Think of it like setting sail on a ship. You have a destination in mind, but you also trust the wind and currents to guide you. You adjust your sails and course as needed, staying open to unexpected detours that might lead to even more beautiful shores. In the same way, take inspired action towards your goals, but release the rigid grip on how things should unfold. Trust that the universe has a plan for you, even if it looks different than what you initially envisioned. Embrace the journey, stay open to unexpected opportunities, and watch as synchronicities unfold to guide you along the path. Technique number seven, practice self-compassion. Instead of self-criticism, practice self-compassion. Treat yourself with the same kindness and understanding that you would offer a close friend. Forgive yourself for moments of weakness or doubt. Acknowledge that you are doing the best you can with the tools and knowledge you have. The most important thing is to keep moving forward. Every step you take, no matter how small, is a step in the right direction. Embrace the journey with all its twists and turns and trust that you are constantly evolving and expanding towards a state of greater detachment and abundance. Conclusion. As we've explored, detachment is not about suppressing your desires, but about transforming your relationship with them. It's about recognizing your inherent worthiness, releasing the need for control, and trusting in the infinite possibilities that the universe holds. It is the one missing link from using the law of attraction effectively to attract the things you desire in your life. What area of your life could most benefit from a greater sense of detachment. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's create a community of support and inspiration 
as we continue on this spiritual journey together.